didn't plan to be a photographer. I didn't have a plan, really. And I think um, it kind of became the perfect medium for me to be in the world and to create relationships that have been meaningful almost all my life. So, you know, the, the mediations show is a summary of that process in a way. Early on, the frame of the photograph was inadequate. You know, I already felt like the writing from the subject or the voice of the subject or complementary as I've moved along, you know, different kinds of primary materials. Sometimes it's an oral history, sometimes it's something published, sometimes it's a document, something. So I just like that mixture to give the, a fuller picture. It was very hard to figure out from a survey show which covers over four decades of work. It feels very odd to have one room that can't represent that full body. And so the choice of depth versus breadth is a hard one. But I think I still um, have a very strong feeling of the power of a photograph when it, it is actually evidential of something that has happened in a deep way. The Kurdistan Project is still anchored in the invisibility of a culture. You know, it moves from the Anfal, which was a, a devastating period in northern Iraq, with Saddam trying to annihilate the Kurdish people, 4,000 villages destroyed, a very specific moment in time, and um, the exhumations of graves, which is what, where my work begins. And then this sense of there was a much longer and larger history that I didn't really know of, and I was just one of many image makers over time that had tried to um, give shape to their encounters as well. So the book project was a long one, and then it led into an, when the internet became possible to share images, it opened up a website of exchange, of a cultural exchange, and broadened beyond the book. And that kind of naturally evolved into what I'm doing now, which is um, really site-specific work. When the Kurdistan show is present somewhere, I try and find some local voices. They could be people who have settled long ago or very recent refugees. They're small stories. They're not big history, but they for those people to contribute, it's, it's a meaningful moment, I hope, and um, there's something special about telling a stranger just a small part of your, what you remember or what you would prefer to forget, but others it might be important to know.